Hi, I'm Sarah Moran with Equity Title Biltmore Office, and today we are going to look at FlexMLS and how to create closing cost estimators out of the FlexMLS system. So the first thing that you need to do is once you're in FlexMLS, you need to go to Daily Functions and then Calculators. Once you're on Calculators, you want to choose the Closing Cost Estimator. From here, these are the uh, previous closing cost estimators that I have created. If I wanted to edit any of those, I could simply click on it and then click load, and then I'd be able to edit it. If I want to create a new one, I just click on new. Now, a lot of reasons why you would create the closing cost estimator um, would be to present to your seller, possibly at a listing appointment or after you set the listing price. Um, another time that you may use them is if you are presenting several offers to your client, um, you could create different closing cost estimators uh, to reflect those offers so that they could see the complete idea of what they're netting, not that just um, you know, one offer may be higher, but they may be asking for additional thi um, uh, things to be paid throughout the transaction. So this is a clear way to give a, a proper overview to your client. So once you get to the closing cost estimator, the first thing that you need to do is give it a name. You can either name it the client's name, the property address, um, contract one, etc. whatever you'd like to name it. So we're just going to name it um, a street address. Then on the right hand side you need to determine if you want to print full version or condensed version. I'm going to leave it on condensed. In this example I am just going to uncheck buyer and we're only going to display the seller summary. I still am going to put in the buyer information though. So we have Bobby Buyer and the Sally Seller and then the property address again of 123 East Main Street. Now the next um, section of information is required to be filled out any of the uh, fields with a red asterisk. So I am going to start with the contract sales price of $500,000. A contract sales date I'm just going to choose today. My closing date um, I'm going to choose April 30th. Now, if you actually had true dates, you would want to use those true dates um, because that will affect the calculations. So property tax per year, I'm just going to say that that's $3,000. And then I'm going to leave the rest of these blank, but obviously if you knew that information, you would want to include that as well. So now we're going to scroll down to the next section, which is seller loan information. We are going to put, off, uh, put in the first payoff amount of, let's say, $350,000 with an interest rate of 5.5%. And um, I am not going to note a prepayment penalty, although if, again, if your client uh, gives you that information, go ahead and put that in. You can see here that it also allows for additional loan information if you have that. As you can see, um, as we're going through the gross amount due to the seller, we are already calculating here. So that's $500,000, that's the sale price. Um, you can make any changes here. Um, here though, this is adjustments for items paid by the seller in advance. Actually, our ta taxes are actually paid in arrears, so um, leave that blank. And then scroll down. Um, you can see that the loan information was put in here. And you can see that we have these X's here. You can condense this form. If you do not need these fields, you can X them out. Also, anywhere where there's a plus sign and add line item, you can add a, um, an item there and then the amount off to the side, okay? So as we scroll down, um, the next section that you need to look at is the commission. So go ahead and put 6% in there. And you can see once you click on that, it has now uh, calculated that for you. You don't need to be worried about anything that's in connection with the loan because this is for a seller side, but any additional information can be put here. Once you have completed this form, you can go to the top, you can print, email, or save it. And you can see um, that you will get a very professional looking complete closing cost estimator. Again, I am Sarah Moran with Equity Title Biltmore Office. Let me know if there's any other way I can assist you. Thanks.